SVGs, or Scalable Vector Graphics, are a kind of vector graphic that was created especially for the web. There's a couple things about them that make them particularly useful. You can scale them without losing quality or resolution, and you can style them with CSS. So let's take a look at how easy it is to use SVGs in SiteFitter. Before using SVGs, you'll have to make sure they're activated on your site. To do that, go to your admin settings and follow these steps. It's pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions at all, contact your client manager and we'll get you set up. Okay, here we are in Sitefinity. We've got an empty content block. Let's put an SVG in it. We've got a few I've already uploaded to the library. And there you go, just like using any other kind of image in Sitefinity. Now, let me show you something that makes SVG is really useful. So we duplicate this and you see it expands to fill the available area but if you come in here and look at your edges there's no loss of quality no kind of pixelation like you might get with a JPEG or with a PNG and if you downsize it Same thing, same quality. So now let's take a look at how we can use CSS to style SVGs. Okay, to use CSS, we're gonna add the SVG to the page a little differently. We're gonna use the embed control. This is gonna let us do some things that we can't do if the SVG is added as an image. So, over on the right here under scripts and styles, grab the embed control. And next, we are going to open the SVG in Notepad. You could open it in any kind of HTML editor and copy everything out of it. This kind of gives you a look at what an SVG is made of. It's all defined as paths and points. You could even write this yourself if you had a lot of time. So, embed control. Paste it, hit save, and let's do a preview. There you go. Same SVG, just put it in a different way. Now, let's add a little CSS here to change things. So, you know, right it here, you could put this in the style sheet, but this will be quicker for us. You see, an SVG, instead of having background defined, has it defined as fill. Take a look. And you see, we got a different color. So if you had multiple SVGs, or rather I should say, multiple instances of the same SVG, you can add different colors to them. And suppose we wanted to do something like add a drop shadow. Preview it. There you go. Now notice this is actually a filter versus a drop shadow like you would use on text or something or on an image. So there are a couple little differences with SVGs that you need to be aware of. That's the basics of using CSS with SVGs, but let's go into something a little more complicated and a little more fun. So for some advanced effects, you're going to want to edit the source code of the SVG. Here you see we got the same SVG we've been using, and we're going to make some changes to the source and add a gradient. So go to the embed code. Now here's the same SVG in Notepad. Notice I've added a definition here of the gradient. And to the path, I've specified the fill is the gradient. Let's copy this out.
And when we preview, you see, we now have the gradient fill. So that's just scratching the surface of what you can do with SVGs. If you want to learn more, there's plenty of information out on the internet, or contact your client manager and we'll set something up. If you liked this or found it useful, please throw us a like or share it, and we will see you next time.